wanted. One immortal elf being good at solving puzzles and working with a diverse team of allies. Climbing skills required must be able to deal with everyday frustrations, such as constant weapon breaking and interruption by annoying seeds. Ooh, sorry, Link. You seem to be a bit overqualified. We're gonna have to go with another candidate. Also, we tend to prefer hires without thousand-year-long gaps on their resume. Have you thought about going back to school for your master's in culinary arts? Welcome to Deep Thoughts While Gaming. I'm Chris Chappell. Like a big old blood moon that dyes the night sky red with malice, economic downturns inevitably pop up every once in a while. Old enemies like unemployment and collapsing property values suddenly come rearing back to life. So instead of shutting the danger out of your mind during the good times, then being caught unawares in a gully full of resurrected bokoblins when the clock strikes 12, doesn't it make sense to think ahead and try to prepare for the onslaught? That call to sensible career and financial planning is the indisputable takeaway message of the latest mainline installments in the Zelda series, 2017's Breath of the Wild and the just released Tears of the Kingdom. Yes, the land of Hyrule has fallen into decay, something, something. But the real purpose of the quest by this point is to get you into the mental space where if you see a piece of raw steak, your first thought is meat arrow. You'll be raking in the rupees in no time. No matter what sort of bad luck you may run into, a sudden firing, a denied promotion, OnlyFans channel no longer profitable because Eerie Mask has been affixed to face by a curse. That craftiness is all it takes to get you back on the professional ladder. After all, in times of scarcity, like when you wake up jobless and amnesia-stricken in an apparent economic wasteland, the way to prove your mettle is to see potential value in material and skills that others are likely to overlook. Of course, Link has always been called upon to be independent and resourceful, ever since his first outing in the original 1986 NES Legend of Zelda. That classic launched one of the video game industry's biggest ever franchises, whose success was in part due to its new format of putting the player into an unpredictable, explorable map filled with hidden paths and items with unexpected uses. Co-creator Shigeru Miyamoto explained that he was inspired by memories of roaming around the countryside near Kyoto as a kid, making toys and contraptions from random objects. Now, he didn't specifically say those included ersatz weapons made from bloody slices of beef or fish, but he didn't have to. We all remember the magic of childhood. Ironically, that same spirit of adaptation that fills the carefree years of youth is the key to making the most out of the toughest times many of us face as adults, i.e. job-related uncertainties that come up during recessionary environments. Now, technically, a recession is defined as any period in which there has been an overall decline in economic activity for at least two straight quarters. In the United States, there's even a special group, the Business Cycle Dating Committee, that's supposed to provide the official verdict on when one begins or ends. But, much like the Zora Council of Elders, their judgments are not always completely accurate. After all, recessions can take many different forms. They can be spread throughout all sectors of an economy or affect some industries more than others. And perhaps most importantly, they often differ in terms of their longevity, with some being V-shaped, with a quick shock-like drop and rebound, others being U-shaped, featuring a long, drawn-out period of sluggishness, or, more dramatically still, the so-called W-shaped pattern of unpredictable up-and-down economic momentum. Sometimes, just as you think you've made it up to the peak after a tough climb, the stamina bar runs out or it starts to rain and right back down the rock face you go. Regardless of the recession shape, there are five tips financial advisors all agree on. Whether you're just starting out with only three hearts to your name or are well established with a full health bar, a master sword and other valuable assets. Number one, if you think a downturn is coming, you should take stock of financial priorities. Avoid unneeded expenses like fancy armor, ancient arrows, or souped up vehicles, and make do with more modest, less flashy alternatives. Number two, 
Make sure to take care of any outstanding debts without occurring new ones. Yes, many of us have always dreamed of becoming highly in homeowners. It can even seem like adulthood doesn't really start until you've committed those 3,000 rupees and 30 bundles of wood to finally get a place all of your own. But once you do, you might find that the liabilities sometimes just keep increasing. Just furnishing your new place could cost a small fortune, in addition to any mortgage you might have taken out. You don't want to be putting all that on credit and desperately hunting for gems and monster parts to sell when keeping up with your monthly payments. Which brings us to number three. When expecting or encountering a recession, be extra vigilant about professional opportunities. Don't wait for the perfect side quest to fall into your lap and help you back on your feet. Ask around to friends, relatives, and even mere acquaintances. Networking with a gregarious Gerudo at the right moment could be your ticket to just the right gigs to get yourself financially situated. Number four, if you have the foresight to stash a little bit of extra savings away, you'll go through the whole experience with much less overall stress. Hang on to some extra rupees and materials, even during the good times, and you'll feel much more comfortable when conditions get tighter. Number five, you need to make it a daily habit to review your financial situation, note assets and liabilities, and find cost-effective ways to take care of your needs or begin bringing in new income streams. Eventually, you might realize that daily $6 coffee from Starbucks could be easily replaced by just catching and grinding up a hot-footed frog and a high-tail lizard to make a perfectly acceptable hasty elixir. In fact, Get good enough at making them, and you could even start bottling extra ones to sell online, or monetize a social media channel that teaches people how it's done. This step, about always looking for creative ways to reduce your expenses and increase your income, is really the key to the whole strategy. It's as easy as A, B, C. Always be crafting. But don't fall into the trap of thinking that any expenditure beyond the basic necessities is the same as delivering yourself up to be eaten alive by Zalafos. Sometimes the best thing you can do for your long-term financial health is to make a smart, targeted investment in something that, while expensive at first, will be sure to be a net positive over time. Sure, climbing equipment might cost a pretty penny, but it could pay for itself as soon as you find that first extra source of diamonds or topaz. The same goes for a graduate degree, as long as it's not in comparative literature. You can read the Hylian epics on your own time, instead of overpaying some bearded weirdo to tell you they're really about Hyrule's issue with gender dysphoria. But come to think of it, why aren't males allowed in Gerudo Town? As an extra tip, Take care of your physical health and appearance. You never know when a bit of supplemental income might come your way just for being quote-unquote thick or stacked in all the right places. I mean, in Zelda's case, it arguably relaunched the whole series. And just look at Ganon. He went from dehydrated loser to succulent thirst trap, all in the span of a few skippable cutscenes. Clearly, he used his time out of the saddle to work on himself. Now, he's riding high once again. A final thought to help put it all in context. You should really not think in terms of if a recession is coming, but when. They're inevitable, and a big part of the reason we talk about a business cycle instead of a business line. In fact, many economists believe that recessions play a very important constructive role in clearing out unproductive industries, redirecting investments that no longer make sense, and setting the stage for a new and more stable phase of growth. So in that sense, they really are a lot like Zelda's blood moons, which make things scary and chaotic for a while, but nonetheless have a vital function of clearing the game's memory to restore monster and item spawns to their original status. When too much data in the cache is being used up, just like when the real-world economy overheats, a so-called panic setting can be triggered. But as long as you ride calmly through the undead hordes, things will get back to normal in no time. At least until the exact same story plays out all over again. Keep watching Deep Thoughts While Gaming. 
And remember, for every like you leave below, a child in Kyoto has their broken tree branch replaced with a guardian sword, and an arrow with a piece of meat on it is fired directly into my mouth.